first of all, uh, before starting my presentation, I like to thanks and sincere gratitude to our uh, IPDI committee, particularly Professor Abdul Wadi Choudhury and Dr. Mohsin for their diligent uh, activities, particularly to run this uh, conference. My case is a title of my case is an, an approach to optimistic solution. The history is this. 37 years old, male, he was migrant worker, he was working in Saudi Arabia. He presented to us with class 3 angina. He had history of previous intermyocardial infarction and previously he was, uh, intervention, uh, intervention was done in the OM branch, so two years back. He was came to us to us and in present situation, his ejection fraction was 32% with regional one motion abnormality. And this is the angiogram. Left main shows 56 disease, RC is free of disease. Then we offered him angioplasty as because he's a migrant worker, he has to go to the Saudi Arabia again. And first of all, after wiring, we placed stent 3 into 32 millimeter drag loading stent from left main to LAD. Then stent is positioned and deployed and stent balloon slightly pull back and went on high pressure and ultimately post digestion with 3 into 5, 3.5 into 12 millimeter uh, NC balloon. And this is the port done again. And fluid showed 10 to 12 millimeter proximal part of the stent is back out on the aorta and accidentally wire also came out. Now the scenario is started. They are trying to revert and ultimately possible, and finally revert the floppy wire, then again push dilution done with 3.5 into 15 meter NC balloon. This is the sequence, put done again, and it start crushed by the same balloon, and with the placed and crushed, and report done 4 into 12 millimeter NC balloon. And this is the final image, after report, and now try to retrieve the crust portion of this tent by wire twisting method. Yeah, the process is ongoing. We try to put up the body wire twisting with the help of the balloon and just make and uh, try to catch up the portion and start this tent. And after subsequent attempt, this stand is coming, this stand start, but again it is lost. So again attempt, and ultimately successful to pull the stand. But whole of this stand came out. Image after retrieving the stent. Another three point, then again started, again reward with the guide, help of the guiding catheter, and 3.5 to 38 even dagger stent deployed again, left wing to LED. Then deployed, and put back, then after subsequent port, report, position, and this is the final result. And patient is doing well, has been confirmed by subsequent follow-up. And dislodgement of the coronal stent during PCI is a rare and serious complication. The incidence is 0.3 to 8% due to pre-mounting technologies and modern equipments. A few cases of fully expanded stent dislodgement have been reported in the literature. And what are the mechanisms for the dislodgement of the stent, especially particularly the underestimation of the vessel size First, standing on the proximal lesion rather than the distal portion, and sometimes standing may trigger vasoconstriction of the endothelium, which subsequently, especially when you use a smaller size stand, and retracting the deflating stand balloon quickly with maximum force without checking the deflating balloon, resulting trapping of the stand balloon and ultimately it is lost. So, stand, uh, we can uh, uh, retrieve the stand, uh, stand particularly when patient is 
uh, stable by several methods, including a biliary force, twisted guide wire, multipurpose baskets, snare, and small unit technique. However, disbursement of the fully expected stand is very rare and has a high potential to cause catastrophic event. And uh, what are the complications may occur from this uh, disbursement of the stand? It may cause, it may need emergency coronary artery bypass surgery or may, may have some developed acute myocardial infarction and so, or maybe systemic or coronary embolization and uh, even patient may die in the table. And so in summary, coronary angioplasty has been supported by stenting because of reducing the risk of revascularization and reastenosis and PCI has become a widespread uh, and effective moderate to the procedural complexion it can, but is still um, uh, developed. Stent disbursement is rare. So, so trusting method can be used rather than the retrieval method due to their limited use in fully expanded stent. The strategies used to deal with this complication may differ among the patient, but therefore the use of different equipment to several techniques can be combined for various scenarios. So thank you all.